I'm Max Sterling. Welcome to LARP Mix. So, it's been a secret fantasy of mine at LARP for many years to break bread with other players. And I, after 20 some years of gaming, have not been able to accomplish this task of breaking bread with others. And it's something that I really deep down want to do. I'm just lazy, I don't prepare ahead of time, and it has never happened yet. So, because it's close to St. Patrick's Day, I was looking up some recipes online and I stumbled across Irish soda bread, which is a very simple and easy to make bread. And uh, I think that it would really sort of hopefully seal the deal for me. And if you're anything like me and you're you know, running around the last minute getting everything together and uh, there's something you want to do like this bread, I think it's going to help you as well because this bread can be made ahead of time you can take it with you or you can actually make it at game and you can use a Dutch oven or if your game has ovens there or there's probably other ways to cook it as well but uh, I'm going to cook it just in a conventional oven today but the bread itself is super simple uh, we're going to stay real traditional here four ingredients all-purpose flour salt baking soda and buttermilk now this bread is very simple, so it can fit any genre as far as I'm concerned. Definitely suited for medieval LARPs, absolutely. Post-apocalyptic, definitely. This will fit in great because it's so few ingredients, and you can rename some of the ingredients if you're making it on site. Uh, and you know, you can even put food coloring in the milk and all kinds of cool stuff to sort of make it your own. Uh, Sci-fi and future stuff might be a little of a stretch uh, but dystopian anything like that definitely this bread will work so you have no excuse not to try it and plus it's super simple to make uh, it's very similar to like the hard tack that I made a little while back or maybe even that lembus I made a while back it's just not hard to make and anyone can do it because you're gonna watch me do it and uh, trust me it's pretty simple now we're going to go ahead and get started here. You're just going to need to gather up your ingredients. And if you want to get more elaborate with it, you can. You can certainly add things like uh, dried fruits and nuts. You can add seeds. Uh, you can add an egg. Uh, if you want to make a vegan version, you'd have to swap out the buttermilk. But you would have to really sort of search to find something that is a good substitute for that buttermilk. And you may have to make a few that fail before you find one that works. Um, my best solution for you is to you know, just do a little trial and error or maybe look online for a recipe uh, for a vegan version. But we're just gonna use buttermilk for this and uh, go ahead and get started. So like I said, very easy. Check this out. Get your buttermilk. In here I have three quarters of a cup or 200 milliliters. A half a tablespoon of salt. I'm using pink Himalayan salt, but you can use whatever salt you want, black salt, gray salt, you know, white salt, Himalayan salt, whatever you got. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. And two cups of flour or 400 mils of all-purpose flour. And something to mix in. So we're gonna start by pouring in the flour and you know you can sift it or do whatever fancy real stuff you want to do to it or you can just pour it into the cup like i did and have this then we'll take the salt put that in baking soda put that in just whisk it around Now, just like if you made a volcano for a school science fair, you're gonna make a little pocket in the middle. Pour your buttermilk. Now we're gonna work this a little bit, but you just wanna get sort of crumbly. You don't wanna overwork the dough. Thank you. 
Now eventually that will come together as a dough, but like I said, you wanna be careful and not overwork it. And just get it into a nice little dough ball here. Now if you saw my lead test video, I have this little cast iron pan and we're gonna take our bread. Now because this isn't going to rise, it'll fit right in there. And then we just need to cut an X in the top of it. And this is really important. And then it goes in the oven. I'm gonna put in a conventional oven for 425 degrees Fahrenheit. It's like 220 Celsius or, you know, gas setting seven. You know, if you're in UK or France or like five in Germany. So whatever you got going on, throw it in the oven, you know, throw it over an open fire, throw it on your grill, whatever you wanna do. But uh, we're gonna throw it in there for probably about 40 minutes and then we'll check on to see if it's done. So let's cook this thing up and uh, see how it comes out. And here's the finished product. So a couple of things that I learned here is that one, this was way too much bread. I needed to cut that probably in half and make two smaller loaves because it ended up being too thick and then when this separated, it really opened up. Now that may you know look cool depending on what you're trying to do, but it's also a little bit of trial and error. So I also overcooked it a bit. Uh, because I think uh, of the temperature, we should probably only do maybe like 30 minutes and keep an eye on it. But you know, you can do a lot of stuff with it, as I mentioned earlier in the video. But you could also put like an egg wash or something on it too. But this little cast iron pan worked great. And as far as the consistency of the bread, it's supposed to be kind of dense. But I'm not going to lie, I overworked it a little bit earlier. Uh, however, to open it up and you know, take a piece of it. It's very crunchy on the outside and it tastes exactly like it should on the inside. And it's very good. Just one of those breads where you could just eat the insides out. It is a very plain bread, but it's also very good. This is awesome for dipping in stews, soup, stuff like that. And I really think that you should try it. Even if you don't want to use it at a LARP, you could just make it at home and eat it. It's still a super simple bread to make. There's no screwing around with yeast or anything. And uh, you could definitely do a gluten-free variant of this. And like I said, you could probably even make a vegan version as well. So Irish soda bread, fantastic a little thing to make. Yours will probably look better than mine. It's very important to cut that cross in the top so that it opens up and cooks properly. And uh, like I said, if you used the recipe I gave you, just cut that in half and make two shorter loaves of it and uh, you should be fine and cook for about 30 minutes at uh, the settings I told you earlier. But I think that it turned out really well and I hope to soon break bread with other LARPers uh, at games that I play and hopefully have some pretty interesting interactions, you know, over some home cooked bread that I made. And if you like this video, please be sure to click that like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I make weekly content and my channel teaches you everything you need to know about LARP, especially uh, boffer style LARPs. But I feel like a lot of my knowledge is helpful in any game that you play, even if it's pretty strict, uh, you know, historical and things. I feel like there's still good content on my channel for you, no matter what genre that you play. Be sure to share my videos with everyone that you know that may need help or may be interested in checking out these videos. Videos. And of course, as always, adventure on and eat this bread. Mm. Before we continue further into the dungeon, I think we should stop for some food. I have some fantastic bread here that I prepared earlier. Let me break you a piece. Here, for you. Ah, uh, it's just. I think. Shit, it's blood. Now I remember why assassins don't break bread with people at LARP. Damn it. Here, just eat around the blood. It's okay. It's, it's fine. 